Welcome to The Bottom Line at TTG. Today I'm here with Mike and Mal Gilvar, and we will be discussing how to get on attendees' preset agenda at trade shows. How common is it for folks to have a pre-event strategy? I think pretty, not, not that common. <laughs> yeah, I believe. I've seen studies, Mike, where it's less than 10% of yeah. companies come That's up That's not with, surprising. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, it, it is, um, you know, I, I think event managers often get um, lost in the logistics mm -hmm. of shipping the booth and making sure everyone gets there on time and, and, and all of the details. And at the end of the day, I think a lot of times the uh, um, having a strategy uh, an integrated strategy just kind of goes by the wayside. And I think the hope always is that if you go with a great looking exhibit, if your staff is trained, that you're going to get the people to show up. The reality is a little bit different. I mean, yeah, I if agree. you don't have a pre-event strategy, you probably are not going to have as many folks come to your exhibit as you'd like to. And for a pre-event strategy, what do you guys think folks should, should include? Well, you, you know, I, I, I think that it really starts with understanding and, and really defining um, who is your buyer and what is the value of that person coming by the booth, right? It's a very different strategy if you sell a $75 product or a $1,000 product, or if you have a product that is you know, $25 million if this person converts. And, and, and then you start to look at things a little bit differently in terms of how do we engage the 25 or 50 people that we want to make sure come by the booth and shake our hands. Or conversely, Mike, if you have a product that is basically for the masses yep. and everyone in that show is part of your target, mm -hmm. it can be a very different experience. It could be giving away a Harley Davidson because yep. every single company there is part of your target. Yep. And, and, then, and that's a great point. And then all of a sudden it's doing what do I do pre-show to make sure everybody knows right. that we're giving away a Harley and we're going to get do a mass attraction strategy to bring them in and engage everybody so you know. really setting goals and objectives prior to the event knowing who your target is what you want to say to that target and uh, and then developing a strategy that's appropriate for example Mike you pointed out if a company has a million dollar product and you only need to bring in ten of those companies you're not going to give away a pen <laughs> You know, exactly. <laughs> your exactly. Your you're might a be a, a, a MacBook Pro yep. and it's well worth it to have those ten conversations with those clients and Mike, how does account-based marketing feed into a pre-event strategy? You know, a lot of times people think that the trade show is one and done. They come by, they shake your hand, you get their lead, and then it goes to sales. And, and that is the top and the bottom of the funnel, right? But the truth is, it, it, the, the, the top of the funnel should start way before the show, understanding who those people are, understanding what your buyer is, and starting to have a strategy to to understand intent of mm -hmm. the market, right. being able to start to incubate those people before the show to where when they actually show up at the show, they think they already know you. For because sure. they've seen your ads, they've seen, they've seen your white papers, they've seen different things coming from you, and, and they're much, much more likely at that point to stop by your booth and shake your and salesperson's engage. hand if they think they already know you. So Mal, what's the bottom line? Bottom line is, I think, Mike, based on what you were just saying, and I agree with everything, how many times have we seen a strategic marketing campaign derailed because of a lousy list? And so it's really important that the sales team cultivates a really good list. Make sure that those target buyers are the ones you really want, because if they're not, you're not going to have and, a successful campaign. And they already have campaign. the list, right? Yes. They, they, they know who they're targeting. They know who's likely to be there at the show. And that's, that's, a, that's a really valid point. Or at there. the very least, they know what company they want to go after. But make sure you have the right contact. Make sure that they're going to the event. There is some work that has to go into it prior to the event to have a truly successful one. 